Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video, we are going to make some sweet cornbread muffins. One of the perks that I offer my executive channel members is the opportunity to collaborate with me on a recipe. Now, sometimes that's a full out collaboration, sometimes it's just me doing their recipe because it's that good. And that is the case with this recipe that was submitted to me by Gigi Varnum. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that about this time last year, I was on a quest to make a decent keto cornbread, and I just couldn't find any recipe out there that I really liked. Until now. Without a doubt, this is the best keto cornbread I have tried so far. So why don't we start making it? We'll start with one and three quarter cups of superfine almond flour. That's 175 grams. Next, we will add one half cup of powdered sweetener. That's 70 grams. I'm using bocha sweet, but that's kind of expensive. So if you want to use a less expensive sweetener, go ahead. Now this is a little bit clumpy, so I'm going to sift it to bust up those bigger chunks. Once I've got it nice and fine, I will add one tablespoon of baking powder. That's 15 grams and a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. I'll then whisk this together, making sure that there are no clumps and everything is thoroughly blended. And set this aside. For our wet ingredients, we will start with two large eggs. Which I will then whisk together with my handy dandy pogo whisk. Love this thing. I'm then going to add six tablespoons of sour cream. That's 100 grams. And whisk that in. I'll add my wet ingredients to my dry. And for this, I prefer to use a spatula over a whisk to mix, just to make sure I get all those dry bits down at the bottom of the bowl. Finally, I have two tablespoons of melted butter, unsalted, to which I'm going to add some cornbread extract. I'm going to use the one-on-one -on -one flavors. Gigi used the Amoretti sweet corn extract, but that's a lot more expensive, so I'm using the one-on-one -on -one flavors. Add two teaspoons of the extract of your choice to the butter. Give it a little stir. Pour it into our batter and then gently fold in until combined. Now we're going to fill up 12 muffin cups, each with two tablespoons of batter. Incidentally, that's the exact same size as a number 24 disher, which is what I'm using here. And look at that. Perfect. 12 muffins. No leftovers. We will put these into an oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 177 Celsius for 22 minutes. At the halfway mark, We'll rotate them just to make sure they cook evenly. And here we go. Our cornbread muffins. Again, I feel like Papa G here. We'll let these rest for 15 minutes to a half an hour before diving in. I love these. Don't even need to spray them with any cooking spray. Muffin pops right out. Put on a little dab of butter here. Wow, this is really good. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. So I have Courtney here. Courtney, what do you think? I saw your eyebrows go up. Mm-hmm. Very moist. Unlike regular cornbread, you kind of got to really like butter it up to get it right. But this is so it's moist and it's sweet and it's got this little caramelization on top that just makes it even better. It's very good. Would you know that's keto? No, I would not know it's keto. The last time I made this recipe, I used the Amoretti sweet corn extract and that definitely made for a sweeter muffin. So if you're looking to go even sweeter and don't mind spending a little bit more money, I'd go with the Amoretti. If you're looking to make a savory cornbread muffin, I would say to dial back on the sweetener to a quarter cup or less, 
and then add some sharp cheddar cheese, jalapenos, whatever you want. If you enjoyed this recipe, please click on that like button. If you're not a subscriber already, hit subscribe and then tap the bell to turn on all notifications. And lastly, if you'd like to help support the Serious Keto Test Kitchen, click that join button and see what membership options and perks are all about. Thank you once again to Gigi Varnum for submitting this recipe to me, and thank you for watching.